Now, you know, there's a very funny show running in London at the moment called Behind the Fridge. And it's very funny for two very good reasons. And here they are, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. Oh, not very well. I've had this under here for half an hour. It's not even lukewarm. Bloody gas, man. <laughs> holding the country to ransom and our tea. Yeah. Well, I suppose if we can't have a cup of tea, we might as well go to bed, really. Well, there's nothing else to do if you can't have a cup of tea, is there, really? No, not might really. As, <laughs> might as well retire. No. I'll just put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. No, no. <laughs> oh, no, we can't. You can't do that? No. Uh, did you switch the gas off at the mains, by the way? Oh, I wanted to have a word with you about that, because, oh, yeah. um, I, uh, I went to the lever, yeah. and I, I switched it off. Yeah, what happened? Uh, the lights went out. <laughs> oh, so you'd gone to the wrong lever, had I, you? I had gone to the, the wrong lever. Uh, so then I went to the other lever, yeah. and I switched that off. Good. But then I thought, I'd better just check, make sure I can switch it on again. Yeah. You know, might as well check it out completely. Yeah. So I switched it on. Yeah. And, um, I can't remember if I switched it off again. You're not sure <laughs> if you got it back to the off position? No. You became confused? Yeah. Yeah, well, you realise what this means now, don't you? We might go to sleep, and while we are asleep, there might be a grievous gas seepage, and we would be in peril. <laughs> well, I think as you've made this initial dilemma, I think you should uh, get onto the gas ball, give them a ring, and tell them about the predicament. Oh, yeah, all right then. Would you uh, tell them of our predicament? Yes. Uh, be stern with them, would you? Yeah, well, you know me. Yeah. Uh, why, why don't we spend the evening up Good Maze Park? It's too bloody cold out there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, firm and efficient. Yes, yeah. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, is that the gas board? Uh, yes, uh, this is a consumer here. Uh, listen, uh, I don't know whether my knob's on or off. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, what did I say? I said that, that we should uh, sit by the stove and sniff until it comes on again. This is the 20th century, Dad. I'm not going to spend the whole night sniffing round the stove. Tell them that. Uh, hello, uh, my fellow consumer says he, he is not prepared to sniff all night. <laughs> I, I see. Well, thank you very much indeed. Goodbye. They're coming round, are they? No, no, they said... <laughs> they said they're only doing emergencies like old ladies. Well, this is only, uh, They're doing old ladies, are they? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think this is only fair and proper that uh, old ladies get, you know, priority treatment. Yeah. But on the other hand, why shouldn't we get some sort of treatment of some kind? <laughs> um, I think I'd better have a word with them. What are you going to say? Well, I've got a ruse up my sleeve. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought it was just the way you walked. That's the music. Hello! This is a very old lady speaking. I'm 117 years old, and uh, my knob is off or on, I'm not sure. I have a sister who is a younger sister, age 106, who is bedridden. She is a tea addict. Tea, tea. That's her saying, tea, tea in the background. She's been without tea for the last... Uh, Six hours. Yes, I've got a monkey on my back. She's got a monkey on her back. She's got a golden arm for tea. So would you come round immediately? <laughs> Two, uh, 2001 Beckentree Avenue. That's right. I'll see you in a moment. And bring a thermos. Tea. Tea, tea, tea. tea, tea. <laughs> they come round, they realise we're not old ladies. They won't do anything. Well, it's quite simple. You're meant to be bedridden, aren't you? Yeah. You nip into bed, put a, a cloth on your head or oh, something. Oh, right, okay. Now, what can I, what can I do for hair? I'll just oh. roll me, roll me trouser later. I made a paper wig at evening class last night. A paper wig? Uh, out, out of the old Rivalis. Oh, that's very handy. <laughs> there oh, we are. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, then. Do I look uh, sufficiently feminine? Yeah, well, you start as a bit of a giveaway. Oh, yeah, well, never mind about that. Oh. Come in. Come in. Hello. Oh, good, uh, good evening, uh, Miss Fitter. Um, uh, my name is uh, Petronella. Uh, this oh. is my sister. My name is Daphne. Yes, this hey. is Daphne. Hello, Daphne. Hey. 
Tea, 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 tea for that. Here you are, my love. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank right, you. now, where's your man's connection? Oh, oh. oh it's just round the back here, dear. <laughs> just, just down I there. thought you said she was bedridden. Yeah, uh, well, oh, occasionally oh. she gets one of her goes. Oh, you know, she gets one of her. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm having one now. Oh, oh, oh go, she said. I have to have my goes out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, all hell breaks loose. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. Never oh. mind, my dears. I'll switch your lever off for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, my dear. Oh, oh, oh bloody hell. <laughs> That's always happening to me. The. I've switched your gas lever off now. Oh, so oh. it's off, is it? It's oh, off. Office. But you know, it won't do any good. Because your gas won't come on till next Monday anyway. Well, we'll freeze till Monday. Well, no tea for two days. Well, I'm in the same boat. You know, my gas is off at home as well. Oh, oh my poor dear. Oh, appalling. But I think, I think, <laughs> seeing that your sister's very old and aged. Yes, she is. She's very elderly. Very I old. think I should keep her warm. Yeah. That's the best thing. Come on now, dear. Well, move, move over, dear. Oh, uh, <laughs> I need to put yourself out. Uh, Daphne had better not get overheated, otherwise one of her glands will swell up. <laughs> no, actually, um, the doctor did say, uh, Petronella, that I mustn't get cold under any circumstances. So it might be wise if this young lady did stay here. I'm feeling a bit, um, parky. Uh, Daphne, your mat is coming out in a sweat. I think I'd better go. I mean, I don't want to give you a seizure. I do. Absolutely <laughs> freezing. Oh, dear. Well, you're her sister. Yeah. And I think you owe it to her to keep her warm as well. Come I on. think so. No, no, actually, Petronella does prefer to sleep on her own. That's me. I think I ought to keep an eye on you in case you have one of your goes. <laughs> Isn't this nice? Listen, Petronella, it's very nice of you to sacrifice your night's rest, but I think you ought to go to your bedroom. No, I, I'm own, willing yeah. to sacrifice my night's rest for your behalf. Why Daphne? don't you take this, Petronella, and uh, have it in your room? <laughs> no, I, I would rather stay here with you. Thank you very much.